Hi, I'm Jim Cook and I'm at the Long Island International Film Expo and you're watching Real Life and I am with Chris Fetchko, Marina Donahue. What's the name of your film? Uh, it's called All in Time. It's a narrative feature here at the festival. And what's the film about? Uh, it's about a guy who quits his job in New York City to move back home to Pennsylvania to manage his favorite rock and roll band, kind of like going after your dreams. And uh, it's, a, it's a music film. If you really love music, it's a big music element. And there is, um, you know, we're partners on the film, and I always talk about the music, and Marina will tell you about what she... We, the love we, story, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, yeah what, so your role was... We're both, we're both co-writers and co-directors. Okay. And I was really, like, focusing on the music and the, the going after your dream aspect it's kind of an autobiographical aspect of okay. my life and then Marina and I worked on it and she could talk about the love story yeah. tell us more about the love story yes well it's it it is a, an unusual not Hollywood happy ending love story but yet it leaves people walking out of the film very um, inspired and happy uh, it's about the films about the choices that we make in life and um, how sometimes uh, things don't necessarily work out the way you think that they are, but it turns out to be the best thing for you in the end. You just kind of might not realize it at the time. Um, but yeah, it's a very, it's a very inspiring film, and uh, we have some really great female characters. And it, it is, it is about a guy who quits his job to manage his favorite rock band, and it's about his struggles of his love for the band and his love for this beautiful girl. And, uh, and and then it's the choices that the girl has to make as well um, when some certain things happen and she kind of gets told that he loves the band more than more than her. So yeah, exactly. I take so, on that part because yeah, yeah, that actually yeah. happened to me. Yeah. <laughs> I did that. Oh, yeah. Boy. Yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, and we have Lynn Cohen uh, who plays as the elderly next door neighbor who's a pistol and she has all the great lines and she really steals the show. Uh, we were reviewed by The Hollywood Reporter. Well, actually, I was, I was going to ask you, like, um, uh, what's it like for the, uh, the festival circuit? Where are you taking this film so far? Um, it was, it's been great. Uh, we premiered in Newport Beach back in April. Then we went to New York City, and uh, we were at the Soho International Film Festival there where we won the Audience Award. Um, we were talking about uh, Newport. We, the Hollywood Reporter just gave us a great review out of Newport. Um, now we're here. And then we go, we shot the film in Pennsylvania, so we're showing the film in the New Hope Film Festival back home. And that's going to be fun because it's almost like our Pennsylvania premiere where all of our extras and cast and crew, you know, when you make a movie, it takes millions of people that just really get passionate about it. So there's so many people back in Pennsylvania that want to see it. So we're going to New Hope next. And then, um, can we say the next one? Yeah, we can. Uh, the La Costa Film Festival in San Diego. So, we're so be yeah. There. We're excited for that. I, I gotta ask, uh, how'd you hear about life? Through a, a good friend of ours who's a filmmaker and who has won awards here, Stephen Mena. Yeah, yes. Exactly. He said great things about the festival, so yeah. here we are. Here we are. Uh, you know, I'd like to go back to your film, just tell us more about the uh, behind the scenes. Can you tell us like uh, an interesting day, a curious day, any happy accidents? Oh God, um, a lot of happy accidents, right? Yeah. Um, well, we shot, it was, it's a low budget movie. Um, and you know, one of the anecdotes I like to tell is we had a director of photography join the project uh, about two or three weeks before production who is a guy by the name of Dave Dunlap, who's a big Hollywood guy. And he came on to the project at the last minute and we were so lucky to have him and we our DP that we had lined up had a conflict so we, we, lot, we were like in a really bad predicament but it worked out to be the best thing that ever happened because we got this amazing DP that was so much higher res resume wise than where we were so it was the best thing and the worst thing because we had a scramble to kind of be a bigger film than we actually were. So that was like one of the big themes of the movie was trying to keep up with, you know, where the film was going. And if you watch the film, it's uh, it doesn't look like a low budget movie. It looks like a like a you know a big Hollywood film production wise. You know whether it's good or bad, it's that's an object or subjective thing. But objectively, I stand behind the production value of this thing. Yeah. You know, and it's that, gorgeous. It really does. It looks beautiful. Yeah, and our and the music that we have in the film as well. Uh, it, at our last two screenings, uh, people were already downloading the music on their phones as they were walking out of the theater. Yeah, so that's a really, I mean, we knew the music was really great, but we had no idea how people were going to respond to it. Or uh, so, yeah. so that's exciting to know that um, 
that we have a really great story that's inspiring people but also music that's going to enrich their lives as well so yeah so that's it's great too yes that's a nice surprise too and one of the things that we're happy about is all the musicians in the movie are actual or real musicians in real life playing their own music there's one person that's not the actual musician but I'll let that <laughs> I'll, let that, I'll let that I'll let that for the DVD commentary but uh, but what we really wanted to do is have an authentic music film so if you watch all the live performances the music's all live we recorded it live we spent a lot of time getting the music right so it's nice to have people like respond to the music because that was such a focus of us and what, what kind of music is it it's uh, it's rock um, but it's not it's set in the 90s so it's 90s rock and then there's a female singer that's sort of Tori Amos Sarah McLaughlin kind of vibe. Yeah, more folky rock. Folky yeah. rock. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us more about the, the female characters and what makes them stand out from other features and so forth? Yes. Well, I don't want to give too much away, um, but but they are definitely characters who uh, who we see go through pain and um, who we see pull themselves up by the bootstraps and um, figure out what is most important to them in life and um, sometimes it's not it's not the guy sometimes it's their own passions and, and dreams um, but yet also a, a very wonderful concern and friendship um, that lasts through the ages uh, so it really is it's 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 a beautiful love story it, yeah. well I just want to congratulate you guys for getting to the festival and I wish you lots of luck with it okay if you could uh, have your audience go to allintimefilm.com, sign up on our mailing list to check out the trailer, that'd be awesome. Yeah, great. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're Thank you. to be here. It's Thank a really you. pleasure. Thank you. Glad you're here. All right. Awesome. Back to you guys.